Hey everyone, my name is Andrew and today we're going on a road trip through southwest Saskatchewan. First stop, the Cherniak Art Gallery located one hour south of Moose Jaw in Assiniboia. Open to the public in 2005, this stunning gallery displays the extensive art collection of the late Bill Cherniak, showcasing outstanding international and Canadian art with changes made to the displays on a rotating basis. I actually grew up a short drive from here and I had no idea that this place was so big. 10 out of 10 stop, highly recommend checking it out. Welcome to stop number two. We are in the small, vibrant, bilingual community of Gravelberg and we're here to experience a touch of Europe on the prairies. Or should I say, Bienvenue à Gravelberg. I'm sorry, I can't speak French. Let's go check out this beautiful church known as Our Lady of Assumption Co-Cathedral. This place took one year to build, 10 years to paint the roof. If you want to visit when you're in the community, swing by the museum downtown and be blown away by the crown jewel of Gravelberg. On to the next stop. Transport just straight to Europe. Now that we're fed and watered, we're gonna head down to the airport, hop on a quick eight hour flight back to North America and hit the road for grasslands. This is Mo, he's a plesiosaur discovered in 1992, about six kilometers away from Pontex. One of the many roadside attractions you'll find in Southwest Saskatchewan. Welcome to Grasslands National Park, one of two national parks in Saskatchewan. We're here today to explore one of my favorite hikes in the west block of the park, 70 mile beaut. This hike definitely has some steep spots, some switchbacks over there to get you to the top. It is a little bit challenging, but I promise you the effort is well worth it for the view at the top. I know for a fact that my camera is not doing this view justice, but we made it. This is 70 Mile Butte. Grasslands National Park is Canada's only national park that presents and protects the Prairie Grasslands Natural Region. The park represents one of the finest intact parcels of North American mixed grass prairie habitat in existence. Mission accomplished, 4.1 kilometer loop complete. We've worked up an appetite, it's time to feast. We have arrived at our final stop of the day. You cannot visit Southwest Saskatchewan without paying a visit to this next stop. We are in Shaunavon, Saskatchewan, and we're about to eat at one of the best restaurants in the province. Hey, I'm Garrett Rusty Thenis, and I'm the chef and co-owner with my wife Christy and my daughter Liliana of Harvest Eatery here in Shaunavon, Saskatchewan. We're a gourmet comfort restaurant with a focus on Saskatchewan ingredients created using international techniques and creating really what we feel like is Saskatchewan on a plate and in our restaurant. Hope to see you soon. What an absolute feast and what an amazing day. I'm exhausted. See you tomorrow. Good morning and welcome to day two of our Southwest road trip. We're starting things off today with coffee and breakfast from Meeting Ground Coffee House right here in Shaunavon. This place is awesome. Thank you. See you guys. I love when small towns have a coffee shop that cool. We've made our way about 20 kilometers down the road from Shaunavon to East End, Saskatchewan, where I am very excited to introduce you to a friend of mine. This is my friend. His name's Scotty. Hello, and welcome to the T-Rex Discovery Center in East End, Saskatchewan. My name is Dr. Emily Bamforth, and I'm a paleontologist here with the Royal Saskatchewan Museum. The T-Rex Discovery Center is a place where we celebrate the fossil history of Saskatchewan. It's also the home of the world's largest T-Rex, affectionately known as Scotty. So not only will you find Scotty in this building, but you'll also find stories about all of the fossils that we get in the region of beautiful Southwest Saskatchewan including some giant fossil mammals called brontotheres or thunder beasts. New this year, we also have a hands-on paleo lab experience, a chance for you to be a paleontologist as well. So we'll help you come by and pay us a visit. While you're in the area, be sure to check out the stunning views of the Frenchman River Valley from Jones Peak, just a 14 kilometer drive west of East End. Bonus, you don't even have to hike to get here. It's a parking lot right at the top. When the glaciers retreated, they missed a spot in southwest Saskatchewan, leaving a forested plateau towering high above the plains below at Cypress Hills Interprovincial Park. We're out here with Jory from Trio 6, exploring the park on their rental e-bikes. 100% the best way to explore Cypress Hills. Along with e-bike rentals, Trio 6 also has guided zipline tours, an 18-hole disc golf course, and a ton of other 
family-friendly activities at base camp. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting hungry. Let's go check out the Lakeview Grill. I'm Joel Fitzpatrick, and I'm the owner and chef of Lakeview Grill. Lakeview Grill is a family-friendly and pet-friendly restaurant. You can come here to enjoy one of our specialties, like the bison burger with a pina colada while enjoying that beautiful view. Onion ring, cheese, egg, bison burger, tomato, lettuce, pina colada, end of view. What more do you need? And that is it for Cypress Hills. Just one more stop on our Southwest road trip, 20 miles north in Maple Creek. We have arrived at our final stop of the road trip. We're at the Grotto Gardens Family Fun Farm in Maple Creek, Saskatchewan, making friends with alpacas. They have goats, pigs, chickens. The whole farm is here. Come check it out when you're in the community. They also have a restaurant, a gift shop, a train for the kids, fun for the whole family. And that's it for the tour. We'll see you on the road.